Like the title suggests, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to overclock out Ryzen 5 7600X on the Gigabyte B650 Oris Elite motherboard. I got to throw this disclaimer out there. This is a how to or tutorial on how to do this. If you decide to do this yourself, you take full responsibility. I am not responsible for anything happens to your hardware in the midst of you trying to do this. A lot of the times, you know, when I put these kind of videos out, people want to know what kind of components make up the test bed. Apparently, they don't watch my build videos, but they have an idea. But anyways, let's flip you over and we'll run down through the components that make up today's test bed. All right, there we go. We have the Ryzen 5 7600X, the motherboard. We have the Gigabyte B650 or Elite motherboard. For the RAM, we are running G-Skills Flare X5 series, which is EXPO, and that is overclocked to the 5600 megahertz speed. We have a Kingston NVMe one terabyte m.2 drive for the gpu in today's system i couldn't find a picture of it but here's a one that looks just like it we are running the reference amd radio on rx 6800 non-xt to keep the cpu cool we have the ergo at240 on one liquid cooler to house everything we have the metallic gear neo g mid tire case and to power the system we have the evga 600 watt bronze non-power non-modular power supply so that's the ports to make up today's test bed so without wasting a lot more of your time let's flip you over and i'll show you how to get the cpu overclocked in this motherboard all right guys here we are we're on the desktop you need to get into the bios to see if we can figure out this overclocking on this motherboard and CPU. Of course, you could restart the computer and keep tapping your delete key to get into it. Me, I normally go into settings, go down to update and security, go into recovery, go down to advanced startup, and it'll restart the computer, let it restart, go into troubleshooting, advanced options, over here where it says UEFI firmware settings, click on that button, restart, and it'll boot up into the BIOS at this point. All right, and here we are. We're in the easy mode of the BIOS for this motherboard. You see up here it is the B650 or Elite AX. We're running BIOS version F3B, and we do have the AMD Ryzen 5 7600X 6 core processor, and we are running 32 gigs of RAM in the system. All right, at this point, you need to either tap F2 on your keyboard we'll come down here where it says advanced mode click on it and it takes you straight to the tweaker which is where you need to be okay once you get onto the tweaker here whenever you go down into the advanced mode it automatically takes you to this first thing you need to do is turn off the auto overclocking and the precision boost overclocking so you need to go down to advanced settings go down here to precision boost overdrive it's on auto you need to disable this Okay, disable come up. I'm going to push escape to go back. Core performance boost is on auto. You need to disable this. That that disables all of the auto overclocking stuff. Alright, you go back here. Alright guys, we have the all of the auto overclocking features turned off at this point. Go down here to CPU voltage. Over here where it says auto. AMD says you can go up to 1.5 volts on the CPU. Me, I don't like to go that high with mine. I don't like taking mine to the max. So we'll go 1.45 and hit enter. And you'll see it changes to 1.450V, which means to token. it. Okay, once, since we got the voltage set up here, we go down here to CPU clock ratio. It's set on 47. This thing will auto turbo up to 5.3. So if you're doing a manual overclock, you want to try to get better than what the auto does or what it will do by itself. So we'll go ahead and double click on that. Let's put in 55.00, which is which should put us up to the frequency of 5,500 megahertz. Okay, and at this point, you hit F10 on your keyboard, and it tells you everything that it did. It disabled the precision overdrive, disabled the performance boost. We changed the CPU B core from auto to 1.45 volts, and we did the CPU clock ratio up to 5.5, or 55.00. You hit yes, and let it reboot, and see if it boots back up. All right. That must be halfway stable. It did boot back into Windows. Let's go down to the task bar down here. We're going to right click. We're going to go into task manager. 
pull that over here, go to performance. Go see what your CPU is setting on now. And the CPU is setting at 5.47, 5.48 gigahertz. So it did take the overclock and now your CPU will run at this speed all the time. You can see over here it says uh, the base speed of it is 5.5 gigahertz. That's the way we got, that's the way you get the overclocking done on the CPU on this system. You do need to use the computer for a while to see if it's stable or you can run some kind of test and I'll be back. So we're going down through the components to make up today's test bed and I showed you how to get your CPU overclocked on this particular motherboard. I believe I lost the silicon lottery on this one. As I showed you when I rebooted after putting it up to 5.5 gigahertz that it would boot into Windows. But as soon as I started running Cinebench R23, it crashed the system. So it means it's unstable. I went back into the BIOS and I tried a few other settings and I couldn't get it to go above 5.2 gigahertz on a manual overclock. But on the auto overclocking, it seemed to run just fine and it would get up to that 5.3 gigahertz. So I believe I lost the silicon lottery, which your CPU may be a little different because the silicon lottery is a, it is a real thing. Some CPUs just happen to be better overclockers than others and unfortunately i think in this case i got a bad cpu for overclocking i couldn't even get it up to what the automatic would boost up to that's the results that i had in today's video this is how you get this cpu overclocked there is some links in the description below that may interest you like check them out don't get to all that fun youtube stuff on your way out of here y'all have a good day and i'll see you in the next video or live stream